finish presentation, call dealership, start 10K training. A lot to get through this week. How am I going to manage all of it? You should try Personal Kanban. Personal Kanban? What's that? It's a way to make conscious, informed decisions about the actions you take. Personal Kanban is a system that allows you to integrate all aspects of your life, work, family, hobby, and helps you excel in each of these domains. I thought Kanban was only for companies. Well, it originated in the automotive industry and has since been used by all kinds of businesses worldwide with great success. Providing increased value to customers, clarity of operations, reduction of waste, and improvements in companies' bottom lines. But what works in the industry can also work in our personal lives. We often act as two different people. At work, operating in a given way, which differs from the type of person we are at home, Personal Kanban seeks out work and home lives integration and the smooth flow of all activities, and it certainly does work, letting you easily manage and optimize all your activities. Hmm. So where does Personal Kanban come from? Personal Kanban was created by Jim Benson, a co-owner of a software development company who for years tried to use to-do lists, visual management tools, mind maps, etc. None of these methods provided him with clarity or encouragement to work. He felt that using these tools was making him demoralized by the sheer amount of work that was in front of him. The breakthrough came in 2008 when he was working with David Anderson and Corey Latis at Modus Cooperandi, and they started to utilize Kanban to help their teams with their work. They worked to create a board to manage their team's work and that is when Personal Kanban was born. Interesting. So how do I start using Personal Kanban? There are four steps to start using Personal Kanban. The first step is to visualize your work. Simply write down all the things you need to do. At this point, you don't need to order the list. Just get everything out of your head and onto a page. Little post-it notes are ideal for this. Each post-it note signifies a discrete piece of work, such as picking up the laundry or finishing a presentation. Now take it one step further and draw the steps and activities necessary to complete each piece of work. This will be your value stream. It's important as it will allow you to have a mental path of what you need to do to get each item done. Now, in step two, we start to prioritize your task. Sometimes it's difficult to know which item to start with. A good prioritizing question can be, which tasks, if left undone, will either get me fired, cause injury, or harm? If you can identify those, then get them done first. Don't try and get this perfect. Just remember you will get better with time. Next, are there any time-specific items, like picking up the kids from school? Make sure to place them in your prioritized backlog in the correct place so that they can get done before the due time. For example, if a task like complete the presentation my boss wants is number one on the list and it will take eight hours to complete, then number two on the list will probably be picking up the kids from school. Simple. Now you should have two lists or columns, a to-do or backlog list that holds all the items you need to do and a prioritized or ready to do list with selected items set in an order you'd like to do them in. It's important that you don't try to order these items while writing them down. Doing that will only block the flow of to do's from your memory, giving yourself the added challenge of prioritizing and remembering what needs to get done. So to put it simply, first write down what needs to be done, then write down some of the needed steps, then schedule the work into the ready to do column. Start to pull your work. At this stage, create a Kanban board with four columns. Backlog, items to do, ready to do, items prioritized in the order they need to be done, doing, items you have started to work on, and done for completed work. Once you have your board set up, you're ready to pull the first item into the doing column and get it done before you pull another item to create a flow and limit work in progress. Make sure not to pull more than one item into the doing column unless you absolutely have to. There are no rewards for unfinished work. The more you stick with it, the more inertia you will gather, and the quicker the large mountain of tasks will start to disappear. 
How did you do? At the end of the week, look at your board and ask yourself these three questions. And what one or two things can I do differently to improve next week? Once you've answered these questions, congratulate yourself on your effort. You deserve it. Then start again next week. We promise that after a few short weeks, you will see a vast improvement. So if you're ready to start hearing people talk about how organized you are, follow us and learn more about personal Kanban.